Today marks one month until a total solar eclipse blocks the daylight in our region. And this morning, we're going to learn more about this year's eclipse from NASA's senior research scientist, Eric Christian. This is so exciting. Thanks for joining us, Eric. You know, here in St. Louis, we got a chance to see a solar eclipse in 2017. Mm -hmm. So the big question is, how is April's solar eclipse going to be different from that one? So the total solar eclipses themselves are going to be pretty similar. But St. Louis is going to get a partial eclipse and a good partial eclipse but even a tiny bit of the sun can damage your eyes. So if you're going to look at the partial eclipse, you need either certified eclipse glasses or an indirect method looking, of looking at the sun. Indirect methods are easy. You can just put a pinhole in a piece of paper and shine through the sun, the sun through that pinhole onto the ground and you'll see the shape of the partial eclipse. But if you can get to the region of totality, it's a much different experience. It really is. I was down in Carbondale when we had the last one, and it what shocked me was just how much colder it got when the sun was blocked out by the mm. moon. Uh, so what will scientists be looking for during this eclipse? So scientists study the atmosphere of the sun, what we call the solar corona. And a total solar eclipse actually lets us look at the atmosphere closer to the sun than our artificial solar eclipses that we make on our satellites. So you can really study what's happening close to the sun in a way that you can't except during a total solar eclipse. It's a coincidence that the size of the moon is almost exactly the size of the sun. So in cool. addition, we're going to be studying the Earth's atmosphere because, as you said, it gets colder. And so understanding how the Earth's atmosphere reacts to the shadow of the moon moving across the surface of the Earth helps the models that we use to predict terrestrial weather. Oh, it's awesome. I'm so excited and yeah. I can't wait to learn what you've learned as well and all the scientists. But thanks so much for your time this morning, Eric. We really appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thanks. <laughs>